Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoblop. It is still Tuesday y'all, it is. And I'm here sharing with you what has now become my favorite flat mail. So I think this is the design I'm going to go with from now on. You saw it in its in-between phase and I'm going to sh I'll show you Alice's Happy Mail package which is both her flat mail challenge. Now because I'm limited to envelopes, I'm sending her flat mail in one envelope and then next I don't know if it'll be next week or later this week, I'll send her birthday envelope out. But let me show you the finished product and why from now on when I'm doing flat mail, I, this is definitely the design I'm going to use. I'm going to remind you that this starts with a fast food container like a Trader Joe's, which here is like not as healthy as an organic Whole Foods, but somewhere in the middle and much less expensive. Um, so this is a box that I gessoed and then as you guys know I covered it with drawings that I did and book pages from Alice in Wonderland. I propped up Alice's name on Alphas also using holographic paper and pieces from a box. The back looks like this and now I'm going to show you why this is my favorite design and from now on when I'm sending flat mail I'm going to use at least this format. So do you remember when you all saw it, it didn't have the middle pages? I'm really excited to show you how much this holds. Okay so on this side it says hello and behind there is my letter to Alice. You can see there's a drawing and a note and that's tucked into a dimensional pocket I built by hand. I didn't actually use my die for that. This is a double policy envelope I built by hand and I distress stained and by that I mean that it has two pocket hold centers. So there's ephemera tucked into this one. I'll show you. So there's a whole bunch of like large ephemera tucked in here. For her and then there's more tucked into the second pocket area and this is from the Imagine uh, collection uh, which I'm in love with and everything is distress stained hand painted um, it's actually like gessoed and hand painted myself and then one of those amazing tickets from the stationery box um, so yeah so that's what's in there her letter is in here I don't, I don't know why my video keeps doing that it's so weird it just keeps going dark unless I I'm real close. Okay, so this, believe it or not, is a pocket I built using the vellum piece that always comes in the Prima flower package. So I just took it and I created a pocket and I wanted it to be see-through because even though Alice doesn't do a lot of vintage, she does sometimes. So I tucked in a few of the vintage photos so that if she wanted to do it, she'd have some supplies and it looks really cool peeking through the vellum. When you flip this, so I told you I built these pages. When you flip that over on this side are holographic pink die cuts for the summer. And then on this one, you go over here and these are two little envelopes that I got in my Happy Mail and I repurposed them. I distress stained them all around the edges. Um, and I, I actually left them as they were. I just distress stained them and I tucked in treats in there. And then in this large pocket over here, first of all in the front was a tag that came in a Happy Mail to me that I loved. And it says, Happy Mail is the best kind of mail. You're the sweetest. So I decided I wanted to use that on here. I don't know if you can tell, but I've glittered up this. This is a giant pocket that I've made. And in here, it holds so much. In here is a package of glue dots. Um, there's all sorts of, there's Maggie Holmes library pockets. There are these large doll, um, the large pieces from... Hobby Lobby of the girls, very much Alice's style. Uh, all sorts of goodies are tucked in there, actually. So that is the format. I love this. I love this way of creating a book from scratch and making like a flat mail book with it. Plus, it holds like this. It holds like a five-page letter to Alice and all this ephemeral, all in one little flat mailer that can go in an envelope. So for me, this is definitely out of all the ones I've built, this is now my favorite. All right, so that's the flat mailer for her and for her contest. These are her birthday embellishments. I'm sure you all guessed that they were for Alice when I showed these to you guys earlier because they're using Hooray. Um, so those are her birthday embellishments. I also made her some of the flowers, the Maggie Holmes flowers. And this one obviously is made by Lily um, because I don't have the larger one. And you can see I dressed that up with one of those ruffles that I glue instead of sew. And it's okay if she peeks because there's things I'm not showing you that are in here. I'm just showing you the highlights. Um, there's that wonky, crazy bag topper that I built with the shaker pieces. Um, and it says Alice. And then these are, oh no, one of them bent. I have to fix it. 
These are Maggie Holmes butterflies that I glittered up and made for her. Um, but I am going to have to fix that little one that bent over a little bit. But it says Alice, and those are her butterflies. And then there's all sorts of goodies tucked in. But the only one I'm going to share with you is Alice is one of the few people I know who actually stamps all the time. So I got her the All Heart stamps. I did. Um, but that is the flat meal challenge entry for absolutely alice i i'm so happy with this design folks like and how much it holds and you could use this for any style of crafting like you know i just chose to use the imagine and make it more vintage but you absolutely could have made this in maggie homes and it holds so much and you're recycling cartons that we're already using so this is by far my fave design by far and I think this is the one I'm actually doing a swap with um, Soleil, a flat mail one, and I'm building her one of these right now. So I really love doing this, and I think this is going to be my new favorite way of doing flat mail. I did get out, I'm going to tell you how many packages I got out, envelopes, more than 12. I got one out to Lorraine Barton for her challenge, to Tennille, um, down under also, otherwise known as Paper Milkshake, Alicia Love Letter Generation that I shared with you. I did get out Sabrina, Crafty Mom and Son's entry to her challenge. I just don't have time to do all the videos right now. Uh, Monty, I sent off Monty's ages ago, but I forgot to include the tag flip, so that went out to her with some handmade butterflies. I sent off one package to Carmen and one package to Jelly Bean. I'm going to have to send them their swaps in multiple packages, so that's how I'm doing it, sort of one package, one envelope at a time. I got a small package off to Cruise, Crafting Con Cruise, but it was necessities, not her Happy Mail. That's going to have to be on the list for next week. I got off a flat mail to Michelle Doe. Uh, I got off the stickers to Miss Stationery and stuff. I got off a small package to Lanny, uh, Lanny's Creations. I got a package off to, oh, the, my entry to Kathy, Cats I'll Create, that you did see. I got those flowers off to Pat Sweeney. But I'll tell you what didn't get out yet, because my carrier can only take so much, y'all. And that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. She took out thirteen pieces for me, which was heavy for her. So, what's on hold for next week? Scary Carrie's entry to her challenge, Leticia's puzzle pieces, Janet Kay's uh, entry to her challenge, Alvia's entry to her challenge, some more flowers for Pat Sweeney, another package for Carmen, another package for Jelly Bean, a package for Lily, a package for Susan Tootsie Tucker. Um, and a package for Marilyn Sweetwater because we're doing a card swap. So folks, it's a ton on hold because I'm really at the mercy of my postal carrier. But at least, you know, you got, you're getting to see some of what's going out very little. You'll have to watch their videos to see what they received just because I didn't have time to film it before it got out. My place is a disaster. I made such a disaster packaging that I have now more cleaning up to do. But that won't be today because today is my long day and I don't finish till after 9. And by the time I'm done at attendance and things like that, it's closer to 10. I don't know what you did today, but I hope it's something that made you really happy. I hope you had some time for some crafting. And I just hope you had a wonderful day. Here in New York, it is beautifully sunny and the air is crisp. There's even a fly in my place because I have the window open. So that tells you what kind of spring day it is here. And I hope for you, wherever you are, you're also having a great day. All right, y'all. I will see you, won't be probably later today, as you know. I will see you all tomorrow. I will catch up on comments. Thank you for being so patient with me. You know I'm always interested. I'm going to go through and heart them tonight. It's just my back. I'm still struggling with my back. So I have limited time periods. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Happy Tuesday.